this town ain't big enough for the two of us, Mulhern. You're right there, Cotton. Three pieces in draw. Let him have it! Yes! This is Fingertips Tin Can Alley. The idea of the game is to take it in turns and knock over as many tin can cowboys as possible. But don't knock over the sheriff, otherwise you'll lose the game. <laughs> so, if you have a birthday party coming up, why not make this top game the centrepiece of your own fingertips western party? How cool would that be? Tell them about it, partner. Howdy, y'all. Yep, get in the World West mood by making these wanted posters. Either stick on photos or draw pictures of your mates and then you can put up a reward. And we weathered these posters by staining them with black coffee. And there's a copy of this wanted poster on our website. We'll give you the address for that at the end of the show. And to make your room look really authentic, you could get pieces of cardboard and paint them to look like wood, complete with bullet holes. For the food, serve up a real cowboy feast of baked beans and sausages and spare ribs. Very nice. How about making branded pitters by painting on them with food colouring and heating them under a grill? You could even start a gold rush by making these golden nuggets out of breakfast cereal and rolling them in golden syrup. Dress the pot in 10 gallon hat, check shirt and jeans. Yeehaw! But which Western party would be complete without Tin Can Alley? Now this is one of my favourite games and trust me, it will have you and your mates practising your target skills all day. Now to get started you need to round up some tin cans and some string. Now to make the tumbleweed what you do is take a balloon and blow it up part way. And these are so easy to do and they look fantastic. Just tie a knot in your balloon. And then get bits of string. Now this hairy string is great for this. And what you do is you run it through some PVA glue. Now this is very messy, this bit. And check how easy this is. All you do is you wrap it around your balloon. And you keep going until the balloon is fully covered. And when it's dry, it will look like this. Then you need to deflate the balloon. So let's just snip just there and you can take the balloon out, and there you have it, one tumbleweed. Now, you need two of these to play the game, at least two, so I'm going to carry on with this one. OK, well, Stephen's making the tumbleweeds. I'm going to get on with the cowboys. For the bodies, you need your tin cans. Take your can, put it on your card, and just draw around the base of it. And you want to do this about a thumb width distance from the bottom of your paper, because that bit's going to be his neck. Then cut out his head and it's time to make his shirt. His shirt is just a piece of card which is two ruler widths wide. So stick the head and the shirt together. And of course he needs a face and you can use photo faces. I think Stephen would make a great bandit. So I've got a photo of Stephen here. I'm going to stick straight onto the head. There we go. Now we just need to stick the shirt and the head onto the can. So just wrap it all the way around. Just sticking it around the excess at the back like that. And now it's the 10 gallon hat that our cowboys are wearing. Now, all you do, get a polystyrene cup and draw around the rim like this. Then draw around it again, just underneath, and make sure you overlap them like this. So you're making like a, an eight, a figure of eight. And then join these two up at the sides there and there. And then cut out the cup from an egg box like this and place it in the middle of your two circles and roughly draw around this too. It will be uneven but it doesn't matter because you're now going to cut the whole thing out so you'll have a shape like this. And this is great. All you do is you put the cup into the hole and look all already it's turning into a cowboy hat isn't it? All you do now is bend up the sides a tiny bit and you have a cowboy hat. Then all you have to do is paint it and we're going to go for a nice mean black and make sure you cover the whole lot. Now for the dangly legs just get some strips of card and fold them back and forwards like that so you get a nice springy effect and you could even add some very trendy little cowboy boots to the end of each leg like that. Then it's time to stick them to the body just put one on the shirt there that side and one on that side. 
Then simply balance your bandits on a wall, and this can be decorated in the same wood effect as your boarding, or simply balance them on a table. Either way, they do look good, don't they? And check this out. We've added these extra details, like the collar and necktie, and on this one, we've got the handkerchief. And you can make as many cowboy characters as you like, as well as making photo faces. If you click on the draw, you could draw them on, or cut out pictures from magazines. And remember, the aim of Tin Can Alley is to knock over as many cowboy cans as you can, but do not knock over the all-important sheriff, otherwise you lose the game. So mark him with a badge. So if you're having a party, dust down your spurs, grab your hat, and have yourself a humdinger of a western party. Okay, Cotton. Aim at the head and fire. Oh, not my head. Sorry, partner. <laughs>